Joining me right now is Senate Judiciary Committee member, Senator Marsha Blackburn from Tennessee. Senator, it's great to see you this weekend. I'm not sure what the Good president is referring to. Wages are up 5% year over year, and inflation is up 8.2%. So wages are not growing faster than inflation. You're right about that. And you take some states like Arizona, where I was in the last few days, and their inflation rate is over 14 percent. You look at Iowa, they have a very high inflation rate because of diesel, because of farm chemicals and herbicides and, and pesticides and, and fertilizer. And Maria, people know that the economy is not in great shape. People know that they are paying more, that they can't afford to fill up, fill up the gas tank and the grocery cart in the same week. There's so much financial stress, and then you layer on top of that the crime. These are issues that have become yes. real personal and emotional for voters. Do you think this is going to move them to come out and vote these guys out? Yes. When you talk about women, crime and the pocketbook are the two top issues there. The security moms are back in full force. They want safe communities. They want their children that are in college to be safe. They want their children who mm. are going to travel, young adults who are going to go work in a larger city to be safe as they're coming and going. And now trying to get around the city, afraid to ride the subway the precautions mm, they're yeah. taking for their personal safety. It all mounts up, yeah. and it is a stress on parents. It's very dangerous uh, to think about going to the subway today. You're absolutely right. You've done so much in terms of uh, writing legislation around big tech uh, and the uh, threats that big tech uh, in some areas have represented for children. I want to get your take on the big news of the week. Elon Musk officially owns Twitter. Uh, he uh, fired the top executives, CEO and CFO are out. What's your take on this? I think his moves are very appropriate. He is saying he's going to return this to being the town square and making certain that it is war, uh, that the Twitter um, platform is going to be fair and open to all to a balanced conversation. I think that is appropriate. I also hope that he is going to pay attention to some of this content that is very deceptive and harmful to children and young adults. But Maria, as you have heard me say for months, these big tech platforms like to control what you see, hear, what you think, and what you say. And it is important for us to realize that having something that goes to the proper uh, platform of being the town square with certain guidelines, rules, regulations that is going to be open to all that will protect free speech is important. Yeah. People well, are so yeah. disturbed about losing their rights and their freedoms. Yeah, and also, uh, ironically, right before the midterm elections, we learned that there were uh, get-out-the-vote emails that were going through Google, and they were right. found in everybody's junk boxes. <laughs> so I, it's just extraordinary what these That's companies correct. have been able to do, Senator. Yeah. Yes, and we actually met with Google and with one of our mail vendors, and it seemed that the Democrat emails were going into the mailbox, but you had all of the Republican emails going into the junk file. This is something that appears to have been intentional on Google's part. It was a way that they could practice their prioritization and their content moderation and send those emails into the junk file. We have one member of the Senate that had a hundred thousand people on their list to receive their email, emails and found out that they were not only delayed, but they were going to junk and spam. Wow. All right, Senator, we'll be watching all of that. Thanks very much. Senator Marsha Blackburn joining us this weekend.